What's going on YouTube, Geosmo right here. If you're waiting for a jailbreak, it's very important that you save your blobs. Now many of you probably never used them before even though you saved them and that's fine, you don't always get to use them. But if you don't save them, you have basically no chance to ever downgrading. So let's take a good example. Right now we have iOS 15.5 currently signed, it's the only version signed right here on my website. And if you want to reinstall it, you can, but you cannot go back to 15.4.1 or 15.3 because it's no longer signed. So right now, if Torin jailbreak or let's say uncovered jailbreak gets updated for 15.4 you will not be able to go to it if you have 15.5 but what if you're on lower version like 13 or 14 point something and a new jailbreak gets released for 15.3 well you still can't go there because you don't have the blobs saved if you have the blobs saved which only take a few seconds to do you would basically allow yourself to upgrade from a lower version to a newer version when a jailbreak is out and of course give you more applications that are compatible with your device but you can also downgrade from a newer version in some circumstances so it's important to save your blobs especially if you're interested in jailbreaking now iOS 15.5 is currently the latest signed version but 15.6 is in beta 5 which means it's soon going to be released and it will soon replace 15.5 so I would definitely advise you to save your 15.5 blobs even though iOS 15.5 is not that good of a version to be on new vulnerabilities are found every day and you never know in fact this vulnerability here the core trust vulnerability which is now staying at the foundation of Torin that is currently worked on was actually released out of the blue so you never know what important vulnerability will be released this particular vulnerability here allows us to actually sign applications forever so you no longer need to do resigning every seven days amongst many other things so do save your blobs you can do that for free with a simple tool called blob saver link will be down below and you go over here on the releases tab you press the version that is currently there and it's available for Linux Windows Mac OS even Mac OS for the Apple silicon like M1 and so on so get the one for your device and then of course you can open it and it looks like this nothing easier than this so once you open the program connect your device press read from device here for the ACID and it will take all the identifier information automatically and select here all signed iOS and include betas always include the betas you never know now if you have an iPhone 10 XS, XS Max 10R or newer like A12 or newer pressing here specify app nonce and read it from device if your device is A11 or older do not do that and then I'm gonna press go over here and that's basically it we're saving the blobs for this device it takes only a couple of seconds but it can mean the difference between being able to jailbreak on a newer iOS version or stay on a very old outdated jailbroken version like iOS 13, 12, 14 and so on. So always save your blobs not only for the possibility of downgrading from a newer version but also for the possibility to go to a newer version when a jailbreak is out because there's no point into staying on iOS 13 and being jailbroken when there's a jailbreak for iOS 15. You would definitely get more features on 15 jailbroken and many more applications would work well. But if you don't have the blobs you can't go there. So you're not saving them only for downgrades you mostly save them for upgrades as well that's basically it save your blobs very important while the iOS 15.5 is still signed and you will also save them for the 15.5 RC for the beta 4 for 15.6 beta and so on thank you for watching I'm Geosnow till the next time peace out